Hello everyone, welcome to another video of JJ Reviews. In today's video we'll be doing about the iPod Classic. I know I, have, I didn't post a video last week, sorry about that. But I'll do one for you guys. I've had this iPod Classic for some time now. Looks a bit obviously wear and tear, you've got that old charging port <laughs> nowadays, you don't ever see that now uh, right away you can twist it around still to go through different ones you want with the music, TV shows, podcasts, photos for the controls, doing it, twisting it round. This is a um, what version? Or what one is it? A hundred and twenty gigabyte iPod Classic in white, obviously. With this iPod, you can have up to forty thousand songs, which I was very surprised with. Up to as well, it said two hundred hours. Or video, which thing if you're out and about, how good is that? If you're doing that, and you've got no worries there, but yeah, you got obviously all with the music. It makes the noises when you're going up and down, as you can hear, but obviously, when you hit a song, just go into songs. So you say you play your map, obviously in the top right you'll see it's playing, but obviously you need the headphones connected at the top. The button on the top is obviously to lock it, so while you're walking and it's in your pocket, it won't do anything when you touch this, you won't change the song or run it on or anything. As well, let's have a quick look. Oh, I search. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing go back. So you've got obviously um, TV shows. There's no TV shows on here. Photos, podcasts, extras. And you've got obviously the clock, calendar. Contacts you can sync, you can even set an alarm. You've got games on here, obviously, like iPod Quiz, Vortex, the old classic games. If I can scroll down, but yeah, sometimes it the sensitivity or doing that is a bit laggish. So, obviously, it still runs games very well. Obviously, it's only a small little one, so you can't really expect. So you can resume. See if it works all right doing it. So, as you can see here. Obviously, I died. You are trying to obviously destroy bits. Not a terrible game. And um, as you can see, you've got a screen lock. Oh, you can set a, obviously a password to it all. And um, yeah, so if we go down to extras, you can shuffle the songs, your settings. You can do a sound check, normalise volume across all songs. Obviously you select your EQ. I always have it as a bass booster. Just makes it sound better a lot more. Uh, don't want to reset all the settings. About. You've got. Only, I've only used 6.7 gigabyte used. 
but I've got 104 gigabyte free, so a lot of audio. If you click it again, it shows you at the bottom what you got. Only 244, podcast is 25. But apart from that, I this in 2019, for anyone that wants to have an iPod Classic, it's got a lot of gig to it, no problems. Yeah, a bit of obviously wear and tear, scratches. But apart from that, this iPod does do the job very well for listening to music. If you're just obviously going to work, travelling to and from work, it's perfect. You get long battery life when listening to music. Sounds perfectly fine. Uh, even if you're just sitting there on the bus or the train, have a go on a game, doing an iPod quiz. Obviously you can set calendars, remind like an alarm if you have to. So it's pretty handy. But in 2019, I would recommend it to anyone. On eBay now, I don't think it costs that much. I haven't properly looked yet, but obviously the more gig, the more memory. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely say this is a good iPod. Obviously, you can get the iPod Nano, which is a thinner version if you don't want this bulky iPod there in your pocket or anything, you want a more thinner one or smaller one. Still has that same controls when doing it. But it's a good iPod. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry if I left it a little while. Don't forget to leave a comment of what you'd like me to do next. Hope you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.